Okay, Alia, so how to hold the guitar. We're slinging our arm around it this way. Not this, not this, but it's in the crook of your arm. You want both feet on the ground, uh, about shoulder width apart, at least at first. You're going to sit in other positions eventually. It's going to be tempting to do this, but we just want to have your arm like that. And we don't want the guitar to slip down here like this, which is a very normal tendency. Um, so just you know, work on holding the guitar really quickly. Um, and grab a pick. If I didn't give you one today, I'm sure you got one with your guitar. The way we hold the pick it is like so, um, at right angles with our thumb, with about that much of it sticking out, so that when we strum, there it is. And like we talked about during the lesson, strumming is going to have somewhat of a wind-up to it so that we hit all the strings with equal velocity. Um, so why don't you just try not letting the neck slip down there and just, you know, like I strum, I'm a person who strums. And, uh, one moment. So just, you know, do some basic guy I'm interacting with the guitar stuff now. Um, the two chords that we learned during the lesson uh, were E minor and A minor, which have on tablature six lines. The bottom line is the sixth string, which is this one. The top line is the high E string, this one, the first string. Um, so if we look at the page where it says E minor, it's like we're not doing anything on this string, it's open middle finger here, anywhere between the frets, ring finger right under it, and we'll be hitting all the strings. So left thumb wise, we're going for that straight thing versus this or this or this or anything. Thumb over top is fine as long as you're not creating distance back here behind the instrument, whether that be with your or with that. Um, strumming. So why don't you just try to go like down, down, down. That's our rhythm one. While we're at it, the only note name memorization we're going to do is the names of the open strings. E, A, D, G, B, E. Google open strings, guitar, there will be that info. E, A, D, G, B, E. So we've got two E strings. Awesome. So there we go. And we learned A minor as well, which is going to be like these two scoot down and your first finger comes in. And that's what we're talking about, as that's going to be what you're thinking about when you go to do this chord change, as opposed to numerals or what notes you're actually playing with your left hand. Um, anyway, cool. So maybe just try going, I'm playing this, switch, I'm playing this, but not trying to do it quickly yet, just interacting with the guitar. Cool. So now we're going to actually start playing stuff right at three minutes in your video. Our first rhythm is just getting used to strumming down. Stop and get good at that. Then if your hand gets tired, you can just do this. Rhythm two. Down, 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 down. Just chopping wood, down B, no B. Third rhythm is going to be half of one, half of two. Down, down. process to be go for one good one, really consciously focused, pause, go for one good one, really consciously focused, pause, and when it gets easy, then start trying to loop it, play it multiple times. And the rhythm that you played when you grabbed the guitar intuitively sounded like, down. and we're going to do that by going down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So that was down, down, up, up, down. So we'll make the task you're going to do Like we talked about during the lesson, you're going to really just take time out just doing this over and over again until your hand says, okay, I can do that. If you find yourself going this, then that, you can trick yourself into moving all at once by going this, then that. Either way, we need to move really quickly. So just like we isolated your right hand, now isolate your left hand and do that. And then just try to strum and you know play some chords and so forth. Any of those four rhythms, anything else you end up doing, um, we are coming straight in at the strengths, and uh, there it is. That's what we worked on today. Um, looking forward.